Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Morrowind to Part 16. Um, I've just suffered a fatal crash. By fatal, I mean my computer crashed. Um, I probably had too many tabs open. I restarted it, I defragged it. I mentioned that I'd been having some troubles earlier. That was kind of why I couldn't just... The army of close phrasers is not good. Um, part of why I couldn't... Um, it's part of why the last episode had a watermark on it, because I had to find and use a different editing software than my normal one. God, just the army of cliff racers. Can you clear these out, please? Thank you. I don't remember that this is the case, but I believe... <laughs> I love when the music is all starting up, it's starting to swell, and then it just stops. Alright, that's Kogura. Koga, where am I going? Kogurun. Kogurun. Old Dagoth place of rest. It's where House Dagoth would hang out. What enemies? Oh, you. Yeah. yeah, sure, you count, I guess. I'm gonna leave this behind, because I'm not gonna use it. What's that? Hall of Fisto, nice. See, so yeah, I lost like maybe 10 minutes of progress, maybe a little more. And as I mentioned, I'm now well far away from the point where anyone can give me anything good with their drops, unless they're a Daedra. Only Daedra can give me good drops. I mean, Daedra, where I got these. Yes, I believe your stats... These things determine your accuracy, so I have like an 84% chance to hit with a short blade. And then these determine the damage modifier. So my speed, which is here, puts like a, a modifier on top of my, my stuff. It'd be cool if there was a... I, I don't know if I can do anything with these also. I don't think I can. It would be cool if there was a third um, intervention. Because obviously there's divine intervention, which sends you to places of the Empire. Because those are the divines, literally. And then there's Alm Civi intervention. Which sends you to places of the tribunal. But it'd be cool if there was like a pagan one. You know, one that would send you to like, I think this just goes back outside. Yeah, it does, but there's... Hello, sir. You fool. Yeah, it'd be cool if there was a pagan intervention that would send you to anywhere that the Ashlanders hold. I don't think that's the cup that he meant, but I'll take it anyway. See, I mentioned this briefly, but... Man, when you really get into Corpus, you turn into some messed up stuff. And Ascended Sleeper, obviously. The Ascension of a Dreamer. Or one of these things, even. Um, is just proper, proper fucked up. You're this giant 
Like you turn into a mind flare. What a what an awful fate. I know mind flares are cool, but man, they're kind of creeping. Yeah, these things with the elephant noses all have a certain specific level of corpus that they've attained. Because they're members of House Dagoth directly. Possibly from before, you know, Third Era, before the Tribunal's existence. This one is just a regular Ash Ghoul. But the ones upstairs are all named things like Dagoth... Dagoth Cartes or something like that. And these contain dead adventurers. Like this Kaiji, who just got bodied, I think. And he's only wearing chitin stuff, so... Take this cornberry for you, friend. I find it kind of ironic that, like, I'm like, ah, oh, yes, of course. Rock rock, please. That I drink alcohols in order to lessen my encumbrance. But the alcohols themselves negatively influence my encumbrance to a large degree. I kind of wish that I could wear gold, uh, glass armor, but like, my stuff's better. But glass armor looks super dope. Maybe I'll see if I can get a full set of it. I think it might be one of my favorite sets in this game. Okay, I did see that. Cool. I'll be honest, one of the things that I do honestly like about Skyrim is all of the crafting. I enjoy making things in Skyrim. Do y'all think it's kind of weird how, like... Flame Atronox were, like, originally just burly fire demons. And then they just got, like, sexier and sexier, and in Skyrim they're, like... I mean, I would say smoking hot, but, like, that's a bit on the nose, wouldn't you say? There you go. Oh, I'm dying, but first let me break into some interpretive dance. Nabith Waterway. Oh, my enchant skill leveled up. Neat. Day 83, yeah? Man, maybe the 40 pounds of Daedra hearts I'm carrying have something to do with that. Oh, I see an Atronach. The Daedra hearts are now like my piggy bank. Like, anytime I need money, I just go start... I just run around and start selling those things. Oh, my spear's still leveled. And you gotta die, so... I can see an enemy from where I am, but... Yeah, what the hell, let's get intelligence. <laughs> Why not? You literally just slap him a little bit. Poor son of a gun. Hey, what's up? What was that? Nantanak? Pa pow! As though they were really worried about me, like, not being able to take the way of the warrior. I don't feel like this is the right way, so I'm gonna go back. 
They're like, we need to make sure you're a proper real warrior. Like, bro, have you seen me? I'm wearing and carrying enough Daedric shit to prove something. I don't know what the purpose of these are. Because it looks like it was just here to be a cool little, little thing. Waha! It looked almost green in the light. Gross. Let's have another Sujama. Why do this sober? Oh, that probably leads from that other thing. I somehow doubt I could make that jump. Oop, we got a dreamer. Or a sleeper. Yeah, these things are some of the only enemies that can still bother me. Floating crate. Ooh, they got crack down here. Lots of crack. I don't need these plates, though, do I? Yeah, those are just bowls. Let's do a little sleep. Somehow I doubt that that's the right one. I wonder if you can... I mean, I guess you probably could. I actually... I think I did a Fighter's Guild thing, like, earlier. It might have been off camera. Where, like... I had done something accidentally, like I had just raided a dungeon that the fighter skilled want wanted me to raid. And I talked to them and they were like, oh, you've already done it? Well, we're not going to tell you to do it again, so uh, here's your reward. It was nice. It was very convenient. Are there gun mods for Morrowind? I know there are for Skyrim. Ah, yes, the lava flows. Of course. They mentioned these. Alright, he needed a wad of corpus weepings. Check. Cup from House Dagoth. Ooh, pretty. Oh, the Shadow Shield. And, uh, yeah, the Shadow Shield. Which is now in my hands. And over-encumbering me. Ugh. Let's have some sip. Orcish Warhammer. What's this? Corpus Meat Hunk. I'll take it, just because... Just the music's going. It's just like whoopsh. It's like an Adam Sandler sound effect. It is so over the top and corny. Oh, cool. Let me check the cup. All right, I'm looking for a specific one. Fortunately, it actually says... Oh. Extreme poggies. I mean, I know I already have some of the best gauntlets in the game. Possibly the best. 
Well, like, come on, it's Daedric Armor. How are you gonna turn that down? What I really want to do is just leave it back home. Ooh, I'm walking slow. He certainly tried to get started. In ha. Huh? Crap. Alright, let's leave behind a spear because I've got two of those. I'll leave behind the worst one. And something is sapping my strength by the looks of it. Because I have less carry weight than I did a minute ago. How irritating. Well, let's get drunk. Got the mask and everything. Dagoth Uthol. Yes, one can see that that character is named like is another person named Dagoth. And in fact even has a math mask like Dagother. Now we haven't seen Dagoth, but we have seen a quote unquote gold skinned being. Oh wow, I didn't know that there was a little secret entrance there. Neato. Yeah, we know that Dagothor is gold skinned and mysterious. Actually, do I have a potion of stamina restoring? I like that. <sighs> will grief do it? Sure will. I like that. I could probably leave one of my uh, Daedric swords behind. I think I've... Yeah, we're good in here. My gamer instincts tell me that I've probably walked by this fucking cup, and I see a dead guy, so I'm going the wrong way. This leads back to where I was. Alright. <clears throat> I'm recording, right? And everything's fine? Audio looks good? Alright. It looks good. I forget where I am now. I think this is like the 16th episode. This might be 17th. Alright, going in circles. Going in circles. Find a door. Find a door, Alfie. Find a door and go out it. Wow, I got really turned around there. He hit a, uh... Aedlin's Ward. How's this looking, by the way? Uh, oh, it's beat up, but it's not super bad. Prepare to die. And you, weird old-faced man. Dagoth Rales. So you can see that a lot of them are named that. I need to go this way, though. Whoops. Pardon me, everyone. Ooh, this is a bad place to be over-encumbered. 
Especially considering I'll drown. It's another thing I prefer about Skyrim, but um, I do much, much like it when in Skyrim you get encumbered because you can still drag yourself along if slowly. Man, all the cracks weighing me down. Acrobatics go up. That's good. Oh, did I... Did I fuck myself when I... No, I don't think I did. Okay. Weird. Man. I cannot imagine people living in here. I mean, for God's sakes, it empties out into the... <laughs> lava pits at the bottom. Sweet. Ancestral ghost. Take this, you fool. There we go. Dagoth Gearer. Oh! That's Dagoth Cup. So I think you can sell that and fuck yourself out of the main quest. If I remember correctly. What, by that? That's who interrupted my rest? He's not even looking at me. He's not interested. Crap, I'm out of grief. Everybody keep going down. Very irritating. Well, we've gotten everything else, so I think we're done here, right? Ah, damn. No longer six... Sixth house bell hammer. I don't know if that works. fun. Putting something like that in your game is always just a fun little thing. They're easy to make as well. You just code it so that when hit, it produces a tone. Whoa. An ordinator. I think I'm... Damn. Alright. Let's see if we've got anything here that we can drink. No.
All right, in here, I'm going to buy some Sujama and drink it. Oh, and sell some of my crap if I can. What is this about? Which I don't have to do on camera. Hey, now I'm back. I actually decided to start wearing some of the set. It's also medium armor, which means that it's not going to completely over encumber me. And as we can see, this guy's fallen victim to the same glitch. And he's fallen off here. So we're going to head back to Cool Noodle. And then we're going to run to the Ushulaku camp. Are you the same dreamer from the. You are! I haven't much time. All right. Um, so yeah, as it happens, Indoral Armor is actually a really solid piece of gear. Um, so I'm probably going to swap out at least some of my set for it. I mean, I already have, in fact. I'll keep the Daedric gloves on me, and I'll probably put them holding, like, the sword back at where I was. And as it happens, I actually got a level. I might have gotten two, in fact. Sure did. Why don't we cap these out? Give myself some luck. Um, I didn't grind for that as well. I just bought uh, levels. I bought axe levels, in fact. It's kind of nice to have some of my main skills leveled so low. Because I bought, like, 20 levels for this. They were all super cheap, and... Like, that got me two levels just there. Oh, God. Wow, that was it? That's an impressive amount of health and falling damage resistance. Hey, and I'm nearly back. And we're in another big ol' ash storm. Yes. Die, trash. You guys cool, like, living, like, a block away from this ancient, like, Daedric Ruin? Because if that's fine by you guys, then, like, power to you, I guess. He's in the Ashcan hut. Which is over here. Brought me the three tokens, I can speak to you. I'm impressed. These three tokens you have brought me, you may keep them. You've passed the test. I'll give you the secrets of the third trial. In caverns, dark Azura's in caverns dark, Azura's I see, and makes to shine the moon and star. That's the third vision. Go to the cavern of the incarnate, a place sacred to Azura, and look for the moon and star. The secret is set in a riddle. The eye needle lies in the teeth of the wind. The mouth of the cave lies in the skin of a pearl. The dream of the door the dream is the door and the star is the key. The riddle is wisdom's test. Take counsel of the wisdom of the tribes and find the way. See the caverns of incarnate. Gain the moon and star and bring it to the Nabani tribes. Take you take with you my blessing, the blessing of our tribe. And Malipu Atman's belt. You flatter me with your attention, Godlander. Uh, it's a okay belt, and the shadow shield is also okay. I'm gonna do my best and just drop that off. Take the wisdom of the tribes to find the way. Or we could just go to the internet and cheat. Under summons. Walk with virtue, <sighs> Told you the shrine of Azura. Cannot tell you how to seek it. Star is the key. The star is Azura. Dream is the door. The star is the key. Welcome, friend. You're near. All right. I can spare a few moments. All right, just double checked. 
Putting that on is apparently helpful. What was I wearing before? Cotton belt. You bear the belt. This is important, just a moment. You mentioned the needle in the Valley of the Wind. I recall at the top of that tall spire is not white, but lighter than the other rocks nearby. The head of the Valley of the Wind sits under the needle. It's a safe campground, shelter from wind with one approach. That rock is the pearl you're looking for. And there are two valleys side by side, northeast of Red Mountain. The westmost is Dry Camp. Uh, the Valley of the Wind is eastmost, past Aaron's Teeth. And his teeth are two stone spikes. Uh, teeth of the wind is a thing called Aaron's teeth. Right, what am I looking for? Teeth of the wind, skin of the pearl, dream is the door, star is the key. All right, cool. All right, so I talked around a little more. Didn't find anything else useful, so head into the Valley of Wind. To here, I think. Zagonapal. Zergon Ipple. Of course, my old nemesis. This is one of my favorite areas in the whole game coming up. Which means that I, you know, could just walk there. Actually, you used to be able to, um... I think if you play this game without the DLCs... Because back in the day, the internet wasn't common enough for you to just say, Ah, fuck it, we'll just patch it, you know? So, like, if a game came out, then that was the case, even if it was on PC. And so, you know, expansions weren't really standard for anything else besides PC. Um, still look okay? But yeah, so, like, if you had a PC, you might get an expansion for a game, but usually a game was just what they sold it. What they sold you, you know? And that was all that you were going to get. Hello, Skulk. And so, like, games busted? Tough tits. You bought a busted game. That's on you now. Um, and so normally companies would just make sure to not release a busted game. Uh, and then now we have things like Cyberpunk 2077, where the game comes out and, like, it works if it feels like it. God, Cyberpunk was such a train wreck. But anyway, yeah, back in the day, um, it wasn't standard that you would get DLC for a game. Um, and games that were bad stayed bad. But, like, here's the thing, right? If you wanted to fix something in your game then you could put out an expansion and maybe get people to buy the expansion and then the expansion would contain things like patches. And that was how you could fix your game. What a Kami Kami, huh? I didn't notice that. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, and then that was how you can, you know, fix shit. Just be like, hey, you wanted this? Alright, it's in there, but you gotta buy the expansion. Which is the case with these. So if you play this game without the expansions, um, it's missing a lot of the patches that it normally would have. Now, I don't know if it's easy for one to get a hold of a copy of Morrowind without, you know, the patches, because I think the version that they just sell everywhere is just Morrowind Game of the Year edition. Like, that's what it is on Steam, that's what it is on good old games. And I think one of the only ways that you could get an original copy of Morrowind is either by finding the original disc or pirating it. 
But here's something I learned that you can do. If you have an unpatched copy of Morrowind, you can just go into the chamber of the Incarnate, which is where we're heading, and obtain an item that is very relevant to the game. Obtaining said item, you know, counts as obtaining the item quest-wise. And you used to just be able to go there and just get it. And upon doing that, the game would act as though you would just, you know, started the quest. So yeah, like a new character could hit Cedanine, skip talking to Caius, never even see Caius. And then go there and grab the item in question. And once you're done grabbing the item, so that's Zergana, I think. We're heading south of it. And once you're done grabbing the item, the whole game world acts as though you've actually done, you know, all of the quests up until now. So yeah. That used to be a thing that you could do. And still can in some versions. Um, which is kind of interesting. Because, like... Honestly, it kind of makes sense. The, the whole thing with it is... Like... The item is something that proves that you are the Nerevarine. Because it's something that Nerevar had in his life. And so you having it should prove it, right? But also doing so means that you skip getting the cure for Corpus, and so don't actually have qualifications of being Nereverine uh, because you're not immune to disease. So yeah, on the one hand, it does make sense that, like, you could just go and grab it and skip the quests. On the other hand, being able to play this game and still get Corpus at this stage is a real pain in the ass. So it's good to avoid getting, you know, the most dangerous disease ever. weather, huh? Right. Gotten a little turnaround, but I think I'm going around. I double checked a map on the internet. I think this is the right way. That's one of the things about this game. Pathfinding is still so difficult. Especially when your brain doesn't work the right way. This should be in Eldar and Ancestral Tune, I think. Well, it sure ain't. What's up, Frosty? I'm good, actually. Imagine seeing this, like, Superman enter your cave, look around, and leave without saying anything, but after, like, no problem instant killing, uh, your, like, super beast that you summoned. I 
I'm actually gonna try to not get lost one moment. Alright, I think I found the right thing after, you know, rolling over hills all the time. Um... I swear I've been here before, though. I don't think I had fences on my left, though, so that's good at least. Um, and no matter what, I am still gonna have to wait until... dusk and or dawn. Okay, hopefully this is the right path. Um, oh, is that a door? <laughs> Gee, I, you know, I wonder if this belongs to Azura. You know, I really have no way of telling that the moon and star, you know, is a, is a thing here. Six PM, right? In the dawn hour under Azura Star, dawn is Oh, cool, we're okay, that counted. So yeah, this is the Cavern of the Incarnate. Uh please adjust your audio. I'm going to turn up the game audio here. You may hear it getting noisier. Feel a few tester swings. There it is. And that's Azura. And if you look here, you can see these weird little mummified things. And these things, mushrooms, which are irrelevant to Azura. So yeah, this is the Lady of the Dunmer. Nerevar reborn. Incarnate. Your first three trials are finished. Now, two new trials lie before you. Seek the Ashlander, Ashcans, and the Great House Counselors. Four tribes must name you Nerevarin. Three houses must name you Hortator. My servant, Nabane Meza, shall be your guide. And when you are Hortator and Nerevarin, when you have stood before the false gods and freed the heart from its prison, heal my people and restore Morrowind. Do this for me. And with my blessing. All right. So yeah, we're now officially Norivarine. We have Moon and Star, the iconic ring that uh, Nerevar always wore. Helped him do his work, and now we can speak to the ghosts. This is the chamber of the incarnate, and these are failed incarnates. Logan Incarnate, I am Idrenic Nerothan. I was not the one, but I wait in hope. I lived in the late years of the Tribunate, and behind the scenes, I helped us demoralize and repel the Akaviri invaders. I knew nothing of the Nerevarine or Dagothor until I took refuge with the Ashlanders. I died a fool trying to loot Ruin Kogorin. Take these. Maybe there's something in the world left stealing. You are Nerevarine, Nerevarine, you are Incarnate, you're the one, and you must not fail. So yeah, this is a Nerevar. This is an attempt at reincarnation. And she may have not been the one. Or she may have been the one and then still died. I am Kanun Shadola. I was not the one, but I wait in hope. I was an Ashkan. I led my people against the Akaviri while the serial little dogs fled before them like Kegori. Kegauti? I quested deep into the strongholds of Reg Mountain, cleansing the unclean things in their own blood, and I did not heed the counsel of the women, and to my shame I craved glory, but never saw my real enemies. My axe and boots are yours, with my blessing. Alright. Where are the boots, exactly? Speed boots. And... They're 88 versus the 97. Eh, they're all right. I died 400 years ago in the last days of turmoil and unrest after the Empire came to Moron. I was a thinker, not a doer. I was marked by the stars. I was not a hero. Take these in mind. My bones won't complain. Sithis. And yeah, so these are all items that you get to help fill out your character. So this is a robe for a spellcaster. 
is also made to be an uh, anti-undead robe. Welcome incarnate, moon and star, reborn, hortator and reverie, mourner of the tribe, unmourned, redeemer of the false gods. I am peak star. I was not the one, but I wait in hope. I'm a failed incarnate. So are all of these who remain here with me in the cavern of the incarnate. I survived the blight, but I fell in battle with an ash vampire. I could not master the arts of war, nor could I learn the ways of the great houses. They would not have accepted me. Take these very poor things. They are of no use to me. Belt and travel stained pants. Oh, they're giving you a free levitate. I'm keeping that on for sure. Boarded belt. More willpower. Cool. I was a holy crusader of the, of the temple in the air, golden era of the tribunate. I contributed substantially to the writings later suppressed by the temple and now would be called Apogrypha. I followed the tribunal unquestionably to my regret. I never believed in the Nerebrian prophecies until it was too late. Take these with my blessing. Sermon 12 and the Mace. So yeah, it's a Dwemer Mace. Oh, but it slows people down and damages them further. So it is possible to kill these guys. Saw more and fall of the Empire, lived the humiliation of the surrender, swore hatred and vengeance against Imperial and Tribunal alike for their betrayals. In later years, I despaired and turned to Red Mountain, where I grew old and died fighting the Blight and Red Mountain monsters. Take my weapons and armor, I have no use for them. Whoops. Well, this looks like crap. Saw my console commands there, did ya? Ah, oh, of course, I'm over encumbered. That makes sense. Oh, pants. ABP. ABDP, rather. Always be dropping pants. I'll leave this here with you guys. I think that's everyone. I'd use console commands to get unstuck out of the mountains. Pity Dagothor in the sixth house. All they do, all that they are, is foul and evil. They began in brightness and honor, and the cause of their fall was their loyal service to you, Lord Nerevar. You told Dagoth to guard the tools, and he was tempted. He did your bidding when he tried to keep these tools from the tribunal, and so he hates you who betrayed him, and the tribunal who mocked his honor, attacked him, and stole the profane tools for their own use. So yeah, we are now officially Nerevar reborn, because we have the ring that says so. I am the Nereverine. I must show Moonstar to the Ashkens of the tribe of the counselors of the houses. Each tribe must call me Nereverine and Hortator. There are the two trials. I must return to Nibani and seek her counsel. Which is this one. I finished with a little scrap just now, so... Oh yeah, I can turn this back down. Pizzazz. Um, so yeah, I'm now officially Nereverine. So, it's unclear... One, one thing that's always been a part of Morrowind is like, are you really the Nereverine, or are you just someone who thinks he's the Nereverine and fulfills all the criteria? And is that what makes you the Nereverine, or is it like, is this a chicken and egg deal? Like, have I always been Nerevar, or did I just become it recently? And that's not really clear. Because, like, let's take another example. In Avatar The Last Airbender, they figure out that Aang's the Avatar pretty quickly. In fact, they know from the time that he's, like, really young. Like, I think, like, since he was a baby. And everyone's like, yes, you're the Avatar and shit. And, like, he goes into the Avatar state, and it's an instant demarcation of the fact that he's the Avatar. And he's able to talk to his past lives... But with this, the only symbol is moon and star. And, like, maybe it's a thing where literally anyone could just put this thing on. You know, they don't have to fulfill the two things beforehand. It's just that, you know, that's the way that it happens. 
And it's, you know, another symptom and example of the weird quantum lore going on that um, Elder Scrolls has, where, like... Things do, in fact, happen more than once at the same time, and in different ways. It's not clear if I'm the Nereverine because I was born the right way, or if people heard the prophecy and manufactured me, you know, they just found a criminal who was born on the right day and were like, yep, he counts. Or what the case is. Or maybe, you know, it's a combination of I'm predestined to be it or I was made into it. And in the process of making me into it, I did actually become the Nerever. And Moon and Star is the is the thing that I held up my hand like I'm wearing a ring, but I'm not. Moon and Star is the demarcator of that. There's a... I don't know if it's a myth or if it's fact or not, but there's a thing that, like, if you put on Moon and Star and you're not Nerevar, you just die. And I don't know if that's because anyone who's tried has died, or if they were killed because they weren't destined. Or just because of happenstance. It's really up to interpretation. Yes. Um, Hortator is a significant title. I think it means speaker. I think it's based off of orator. Which is just so fun. Um, because I've talked about this. The Elder Scrolls has the trinity. Of thief, mage, warrior. Like, you see those big signs in Skyrim. All of the constellations correspond to one of the three. And they're even seen in other places, mythologically speaking. The Tribunal are an example. So Thassil is a mage. Boethia is a warrior. Vivek is a thief. And I realize I crisscrossed those, but both Tribunals of Morrowind count. Um, and you can see it in, like, the generals of a certain king. They are also examples of it. But there's a third one. Sorry, there's a fourth one. That most people don't consider real, but I think has to count. And it is speaker. I think that speech, while it is folded into, you know, thief skills, I think that it is really its own thing. That's why in Skyrim you have, you know, sneaking and all your thief skills. You have warrior and all your fight skills. Can I sleep here? And you have mage and all your magic skills, but you also have Thum, the voice, the ability to shout. It's speaking in, in a different way, you know, in Draconic, but, or Dovazul, rather. Best the third trial before you lies the fourth and fifth. I've spoken with Nibani and I know these. You wish to be called Ushrulaku Nurevrin. You hear the Council of Sulmatul? Anyway, my, my, my theory and thought process is speaking is the fourth thing that goes on top of the other three. And Nerevar and Dovahkiin both are examples of it. The voice, the thum, is speech, empowered, and different from everything else. And Nerevar's main skill was in how he sweet-talked people. That's my thought process. I will give you warning. When you are called Nerevarine, the word must spread and money must hear. Your enemies will hear and come seeking your blood. And as such friends as you may have and as such friends as you may have around the great houses those who heed the world to the temple they may forget their love for you if you have business with the people of the houses and temple you may wish to conduct that first before you are named Nereverine second I tell you seek the wisdom seek the counsel of wise woman Nibani Maisa for if you are an outlander and ignorant of the ways of her people she can tell you of the other tribes and of their ways and of their Ashkans if you do not know these things you will make many mistakes and waste precious time that's my counsel. If you wish to be named Ushulak Nureverine, we may speak of these things. Very well. You wish to be called Nureverine. I know you, and I'm disposed to do so. But first we must speak of need and duty. 
Before I name you Neverine, you must understand why a war leader is needed so you may tell others. Before I name you Neverine, you must know your duty. Know the words of the prophecies, the curse of Dagoth Ur and the six house threaten our lands. The false gods lie and offer false hold for protection. You bear the moon and star of Nerevar. Azura's hand is upon you. These are proofs you must show to all people, Azur Shulaku. You shall be Nerevarine of the tribes and hortator of the great houses. You shall eat the sin of the unborn house and free the false gods. Freeing them in this case means destroying their source of power. We'll get to that later, though. You must defeat the six house and Dagoth Or. You must free the tribunal from their curse. This is the burden of prophecy. It shall be your duty as Ushulaku Nerevarine. Before my hearth and kin, before the people of the wastes, I name you Ushulaku Nerevarine, war leader of the Ushulaku and protector of the people. In my token of this, I shall give you the teeth. It shall be a sign to Dunmer that you are the Nerevarine and that Ushulaku shall follow you in all things, even unto death, until the enemy is defeated, or until you are dead, or until you give this back into my hand. Get back one. Sumatul warned me the people of the Great Houses may be hostile when I'm Nerevar. He suggests I take counsel. Yada yada. Before he will name me Nerevarian, he wished to recite the needs and duties so I may tell others. Cites the needs of the Nerevarian in three parts. Curse of Dagothur threatens. False gods lie. And I bear the moon and star. I shall be Nerevarian and Hortator. I shall eat the sin. Defeat the sixth house in Dagothur. Free the tribunal. I think that means free them from the use of Kaganrak's profane tools. I love that he's like confused. He's like, eh, sure. Sumatul has named me Nerevarine, war leader of the Ushulaku and protector of the people. He's given me the teeth, an enchanted heirloom of the tribe, which will be a shine to all Dunmer. Ushulaku have named me Nerevarine. You face trials and pass them. Stuff lays before you. All right, what do we got? Teeth. Oh yeah, I have two fingers, of course. So yeah, now I have a passive, which is just resist paralysis. Which is alright. Welcome, Galena Pitchblend. You honor us. I don't know that I've ever brought this up before, but the reason that I've named that is because there are two types of ore deposits. Pitchblend and Galena. Um, one is radioactive, the other is lead, I believe. Galena is lead. When pitch blends radioactive. I shall be your guide. It once seemed a dream, now it seems very real. You pass the third trial. You must pass the fourth and fifth. They're much the same. Each tribe and great house must choose you as war leader to unite the Dunmer against the terrible menace. You must name you Nerverine and Hortator. You've come to guidance, and I'll give it to you. So Batul has named you Ushulaku Nerverine. You have not been named Anahumusa, Zainab, and Erebeninism. And you have not passed the fifth trial. When a greater enemy threatens, the great houses put aside their quarrel and choose a hortator, a war leader to lead the houses. Only a great house council can name one, and all the councils must agree. Speak with the Redoran, Halu, Hlalu, and Telvani. Also, again, another trilogy. Warriors. Thieves. They, you know, mercantile, but, you know, other, really. And mage. Prove to them that Dagoth or threatens. When you're named Redoran, Hlalu, and Telvani... Only then will you be Hortator in Prophecy. Must go to Anahamusa. I've heard they're in a pitiful way and do not have an Ashcan. The wise woman may be acting as chief, and perhaps she can speak for the tribe to name you Anahamusa. Zainab. Ashcan is a strong and popular chief, but he's known to be vain and hard-headed. You must be strong but clever to please him and earn his favor. All right, Ulith Paul is a strong chief, but violent and cruel. He and his Galukans are known as killers and attack unnamed victims and betray the rules of hospitality. It's a difficult problem. Only the Ashkan can name you Nerevarine, but this Ashkan may not be willing, and if he were, he's a bad chief, dishonorable, and not to be trusted. I do not know what you should do. Perhaps she will give you counsel. Well, that seems hard, so we'll do that one first, but we'll do that one later. Um, thank you for everything. I will be going now. Can I sleep in here, guys? Thank you. So, I've been Alfred. I am now the Nerevarine. I am Nerevar. And this has been Morrowind. Um, 
I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for coming. Uh, and have a good day. Bye. <laughs>